Hi, this is BRR. Uh, in this session, we will discuss about uh, ASP.NET Core. What is this new version introduced by Microsoft uh, and uh, what this version contains and what is the difference between the traditional ASP.NET framework that we are working using in uh, Leno 4.6 and uh, earlier uh, frameworks. So what are the differences between these uh, ASP.NET Core and ASP.NET framework? So generally this ASP.NET Core is a cross you know, platform, high performance and open source framework for building modern and cloud-based internet con connected applications. So with using ASP.NET Core, you know, we have uh, there are several features we can utilize using this ASP.NET Core uh, I mean, along with the traditional ASP.NET framework uh, facilities, what it is providing. So one thing is build web, web apps and services, uh, IoT apps and mobile backends like, you know, Internet of Things we can, uh, uh, you know, develop using this ASP.NET Core. Also use uh, your favorite development tools on Windows and Mac operating systems and Linux operating systems. So also you can deploy this, uh, you know, website and cloud or on-premises kind of thing. And uh, this uh, ASP.NET Core uh, uh, things can be uh, run on .NET as well as on .NET Core and .NET Framework. So why why we require and why we need to use in the, this ASP.NET Core in the sense, you know, the, um, and as I told you, it's designed to uh, be deployed on cloud as well as on-premises. So developers can now build uh, cloud-based web applications like, you know, Internet of Things and mobile backend applications using the ASP.NET Core framework which can run on different operating systems along with the Windows operating system. So also this uh, ASP.NET Core is a modular framework distributed as new yet packages. This allows us to include packages that are required or applications. So there are uh, so many features uh, comes up with the ASP.NET Core. If you look at this uh, introduction part, what, what are all the contents I mean, included in this ASP.NET Core, if you look at the below diagram, we have a web framework, open source, cross platform, run on .NET Core and .NET Framework, and modular and cloud optimized concepts we have in this particular ASP.NET Core uh, application. So this was initially introduced by Microsoft, and uh, later it was uh, you know built as open source framework, so that we'll use uh, uh, as open source. And as I explained in the above, it's a uh, core is a free op open source and cloud optimized framework which can run on Windows, Linux, and Mac operating systems. So, and you can say that it is a new version of ASP.NET framework. Uh, the framework is a complete rewrite, in, uh, rewrite from scratch in order to make it open source, uh, modular, and cross platform application. It was initially launched as ASP.NET 5.0 framework, but then it was renamed as ASP.NET Core. So far, we have ASP.NET 4.6 framework and uh, Later, they, they have been in, uh, released as ASP.NET 5 version in the, uh, 2016, but uh, this was renamed as ASP.NET Core uh, in coming, I mean, this recent days. So, this is about this ASP.NET Core. Uh, these are the components and the, uh, you know, facilities we have if you use ASP.NET Core. Of course, it will provide the backend facility to run your ASP.NET Core and .NET Framework as well instead of .NET Core. And uh, apart from that, we have these many facilities, so we can utilize them, uh, you know, as part of development. So, why we require ASP.NET Core uh, application, or why we require this version to uh, uh, develop the application? So, as I told you, it supports multiple platforms. Uh, so that is what the benefit. And another thing is we can uh, deploy things on uh, cloud as well as on premises. And also we can develop uh, Internet of Things IoT application concept in the ASP.NET Core. Also mobile applications, backend things we can develop using ASP.NET Framework. So if you look at uh, this uh, another slide, we'll have a um, history of this ASP.NET Core. Initially this 1.0 has been released on June 2016. And the 1.1 has been released on November 2016. And now 2.0 is the latest. This was released on August 2017. So many people, you know, confusing between ASP.NET Core and .NET Core. Uh, no, please note that ASP.NET Core and .NET Core are not the same. They are different, just like ASP.NET and .NET Framework, uh, like how they are different. .NET Core is a fast, lightweight, modular open source framework for creating web applications and services that run on Windows, in Linux, and Mac operating systems. So it is a platform on which ASP.NET Core application runs. Basically, this .NET Core is a platform like how .NET 
uh, initial .NET framework has been introduced by Microsoft. And that framework, we have ASP.NET, VB.NET, C Sharp.NET, F Sharp .NET, VC++ .NET kind of uh, frameworks has been installed and we are using it on .NET framework. Like that, .NET Core is a basic framework. Uh, over that .NET Core, we'll be having ASP.NET Core applications. And this .NET Core is named as, you know, Core because it includes core features of the .NET framework. The main objective of .NET Core is to make .NET Framework open source and class platform compatible so that it can be used in resource constrained environments. It includes minimum features that are required to run basic .NET Core apps and other advanced features that can be included as package from you know, NuGet. NuGet packages are hugely uh, involved in this ASP.NET Core application. That means, you know, <coughs> most of the things you can uh, uh, implement uh, using this NuGet packages. So that way it is uh, having environment in this ASP.NET uh, core uh, because modular framework distributed uh, using this NuGet packages. This allows us to include packages that uh, required in our application. Okay, so if you look at this uh, following uh, you know, next side screenshot, this is the internal components of .NET core. Like as I told you, .NET core and ASP.NET core are both are different. Once .NET core is nothing but a .NET like we have an earlier and ASP.NET core is like ASP.NET uh, we have earlier. So over the .NET, ASP.NET core will be installed and uh, start running on it. In this ASP.NET core, we're having different compilers, core CLR and core FX. And this is dot compiler, dot .NET compiler for Tom Roslin. As you can uh, learn, no, .NET core includes, you know, dot .NET compiler for Tom Roslin, .NET core runtime, core CLR and dot .NET core framework you know, core framework and ASP.NET core. So this is what the core CLR and this is what core framework and this is what the .NET compiler platform rose in. This is what the name it has been given in the ASP.NET core application. So this is what the internal components of your .NET core. So this .NET core basically have ASP.NET core in that we have core CLR and core framework and the .NET compiler platform uh, named as ROSLIN. So why ASP.NET Core is required nowadays? So what is, what, what is the you know, biggest advantage of using this uh, you know, ASP.NET Core? So first thing is support multiple platforms that we discussed like the ASP.NET Core application can run on Windows, Linux and Mac operating systems. So uh, you don't need to build different apps for different platforms using different frameworks like what we are doing in earlier versions in ASP.NET, uh, I know uh, 4.5 and 4.6 frameworks. So earlier, what, what we'll be doing is uh, we will be doing uh, like you know, if you want an application which can be run on a Mac operating system or Linux operating system, we used to use different uh, uh, applications, different templates, and different versions and among you know mono.net is being you know I mean given uh, uh, I mean uh, long back uh, you know, which supports Linux operating system and mobile apps uh, they have given separate templates for mobile apps. Uh, to run our Mac operating system and uh, remaining web applications which we are developing using ASP.NET can be run on multiple uh, uh, web servers you know, in, in, on Windows operating system like that we are going in different way we, you know, to develop multiple uh, platform supported applications but using the ASP.NET Core so we, we don't bother about multiple platform support so you if you start developing an a, uh, application using ASP.NET Core it supports running on multiple platforms that is what the main purpose and second thing is fast. ASP.NET Core no longer depends on system dot you know web uh, namespace for browser server communication because if you look at earlier versions, we used to import namespace called system dot web where it has everything that's related to your web page, so everything can be inherited from the namespace and using all the features from that system dot web namespace. So this is not required in the ASP.NET Core because browser server communication uh, this asp.net core provides a different way asp.net core allows us to include packages which which we need to uh, which we need for our application this reduces the request pipeline and improves the performance and scalability because so uh, instead of depending on the server side uh, communication using a namespace if you're depending on the scripting side uh, using a new get packages it is more faster compared to uh, this, this server side communication so, this way it is come up with the new get packages installing uh, over your ASP.NET Core application which supports this communication between your you know, web page of your uh, you know, app or uh, internet application or internet application. 
so it reduces a lot of uh, you know the stuff uh, the round trips on communications the server and client kind of thing that way it is increasing faster and coming to the next thing is ioc container you know ioc container it's nothing but you know it includes the built in built in ioc container so for automatic dependency injection which which can makes uh, you know it maintainable and uh, testable ioc is nothing but you know uh, inverse of controller uh, like you know in, indirect dependency uh, on your class or object instead of depending directly if you look at like uh, like like uh, if, if i give some example saying that like when you are driving when you are going somewhere and you are driving yourself uh, on your vehicle so you are controlling your uh, car but 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 the but the control is on your hand so whatever gear you are applying and uh, how much speed you are applying based on your control the car is like you know going forward moving forward so that way you are controlling this is that, that is nothing but directly you are controlling but if you keep some driver if you uh, adapt some driver or if you uh, you know uh, book a cab instead of like going in your own car the driver will be separately uh, come uh, drive your car and driver is controlling your car but you are going to your destination and you can spend your time on some other um, plans or other uh, you know activities uh, like reading books or looking at some other things so before meanwhile you reach your destination that way you are directly controlling your car on uh, with help of your driver so that that that, that is what the uh, you know uh, inverse of controlling of your uh, code that concept is there in the um, ace.net core application it nothing but automatic dependency injection so which makes it is maintainable and scalable uh, and very testable uh, it comes to testing okay and coming to the next one integrating with modern ui frameworks so as i told you like it allows you to use a manage modern ui frameworks such as angular uh, react and omber uh, bootstrap etc uh, using uh, you know uh, new get packages from the uh, package manager for the web and coming to the hosting uh, as you know, asp.net core web applications can be hosted on multiple platforms with any web server such as ias apache etc it is not dependent only on ias uh, standard .net framework is working uh, before the asp.net core you can install it any uh, web server which which have ias or apache server or jvm i mean some other servers so it is multi supports multiple platforms multiple operating systems so hence you can install in any any uh, operating system of uh, web server and coming to the code sharing so it allows you to build a class library which can be used with other .NET frameworks such as .NET Framework 4.1 or 2 or 3 or 4 uh, 5 or mono.NET. There's a single code base which can be shared across frameworks. This way, a code is sharing. So, so if you build any uh, class library, uh, you know, uh, using ASP.NET Core, you can use that particular class on, uh, you know, the uh, previous versions of .NET frameworks like 4.5 or 4.6 along with you know mono.NET that way it is sharing code to in between different frameworks and side by side app versioning ASP.NET Core runs on .NET Core which supports you know simultaneous running of multiple versions of applications like how this version version by version are side by side working similar way side by side app versioning is uh, working in ASP.NET Core application it supports you know simultaneous running on multiple versions of an application so you can install multiple versions and you can work on multiple applications with multiple versions and next one is smaller deployment footprint ASP.NET core application runs on dotnet core which is similar you know uh, like dotnet core it is just uh, way smaller than a full dotnet framework so that the application which uses only a part of dotnet core framework will have a smaller deployment size this reduces the deployment footprint so if you look at the previous deployment, you know, um, if you want to uh, deploy an a like kind of uh, web-based application which was developed in ASP.NET, you need to install ASP.NET framework and the relevant version and relevant stuff on the AS. So the full .NET framework you have to install it on this uh, web server so that it, it start working. But if you look at ASP.NET Core application, this is running on .NET Core, which is smaller when you compare .NET framework very very small if you compare the dotnet framework so if you can install dotnet core then your dotnet ASP.NET core will work that way it is reducing you know a lot of size deployment size and deployment footprint uh, can be uh, reduced okay 
So these are the benefits if you use ASP.NET Core and it is better to um, look at this ASP.NET Core version and I suggest all the developers look at this ASP.NET features and start developing your application so that it supports on multiple platforms and multiple browsers. So and, and also it reduces a lot of time when you are um, installing and deploying an application different uh, you know, platforms not only in non premises also. So this is what the ASP.NET Core like uh, being uh, come up in, in, in the industry with different features and compared to a traditional .NET framework. So I hope you understand what is an ASP.NET Core and what are the benefits we have in ASP.NET Core when compared to .NET framework we have uh, uh, early. So thanks for listening and please subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos on .NET Core. Thank you.